Hey everyone, my name is, well, Sarita, but cutify 88 on YouTube. I'm coming to you guys with a quick, uh, well not quick, but I wanted to do um, a review since I hadn't seen a review at all on YouTube for this product as far as like a real person having it in their home. So um, my husband's not here, he's at work, but um, he's gonna be like, why you didn't wait for me to do a video? But uh, I wanted to show you guys that we got the Helinski Salu Spa on the one with the brown wood paneling. Um, it's a portable spa, kind of inflatable, but it looks more realistic with the wood paneling. So I just wanted to come and show you guys that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm good at following directions. So, um, and I'm good at putting stuff together. So I should have this up in no time, but I want to wait until my husband, get, husband gets home before I fill it and everything. So I just wanted to go over the pieces and like everything that I got. I just picked it up from Walmart. It was $3.99 really really good price so $3.99 my daughter's out here with me <laughs> but yeah just want to show you guys how it looks in a real home and hopefully we'll have it up and running and it'll be included in this video all right see you in a before second before I get into everything showing you the pieces I just want to show you the box to uh, show you the model and style that we got it is the best way uh Helsinki sorry Helsinki Salyu Spa um has air jet bubbles it has a quick setup combination of heat and air massage capacity is five to seven i think they say five is all five adults and two kids is the maximum of seven but as far as adults is max five and it goes up to 104 degrees and there's no tools needed drop stitch material now i have heard one thing about this that because the um the actual spa itself is not inflatable it's not like a balloon the insulation isn't um i wouldn't say not good but it doesn't hold the heat as best as the um, inflatable ones and once you get in and turn the air bubbles on because it is air bubbles it does lower the temperature quite quickly so it can drop like two to four degrees in like an hour um, but the thing about this is because it, the lining is so thin it can fit more people so if a person is six five that person can lay straight down feet straight out from end to end and still be comfortable so that gives you an idea how big it is in which I would rather the space versus the ability to um, keep the heat, maintain the heat. I'm not gonna be in it forever. And if it drops two degrees, I mean, whatever, I would rather have space to fit more friends. So it does come with um, a filter cartridge, a dispenser, and a high pressure hand pump. Um, I think the pump is used for the, I don't know, do we have to pump it ourselves? I don't think we have to pump it ourselves. So I don't know what it comes with the pump for, but yeah, this is a box. Specifications. It gives you the dimensions. It's 87 inches. Heat capacity and digital control panel. Easy setup. So you inflate with you inflate. Oh, you do inflate with a hand pump. So I could because it doesn't need that much air. I guess like an inflatable one, like a balloon texture one. I don't think it needs as much air. So you can actually pump it up with the hand pump that it comes with filled with water it'll take a few hours to heat and I think it holds like 200 and something gallons um, 297 gallons so that's a lot of water the inflatable ones only hold like 200 a little over 200 so that gives you an idea of how much bigger it is versus the blow-up ones because see how the lining is thin it's not like balloon material so I can't wait let me show you the pieces that it came with We'll I have right everything back. laid out on my patio table. Like I said, this is new to me. So I don't know what each thing is. I think this is like the patch stuff, the stuff that you can patch it with if it gets a hole. Some kind of wrench device, two filters, some kind of hose, another type of hose. <laughs> Here is the actual pump that you use to pump it up. And this is the actual spa. It's still in the bag. Like I said, I just got it out the box. I don't know what this is. I think it could be a pad that you put underneath the spa. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But we will hold on to that. And I think this is the cover. Cover. And this is the actual pump. Looks like a giant egg. <laughs> so I will try to put this thing together and try to get it pumped up. I will read the directions um, and yeah, we'll go from here.
instructional video, video and it says something about be sure this valve is closed um, before you do anything. So that was like number one. And all the lady did was, oh sorry, all, this, all the lady did was take this off and like, cause it says closed in this way. So I don't know if that's closed or not, but make sure that valve is closed. That's all. The next thing is to put the end of this hose into this one with the wiggly thing. So the one, this hose right here, that has this end, put this into this. So that's step number one on the um, on the video now. I'm just going by the video. So you bring this forward and you screw this on. So that's step number one as far as screwing stuff on. So is to take this, um, this nozzle here and put it, lock it in place like that. So put it on the end of this hose. And then what she does is opens this up. And I'm going by the instructional video and she did, she put it in here like that. So I guess turn it to the right is locking it in. So, ooh, <laughs> gotta make sure. That end is connected to that. Plugged it up. And then so I just took the power cord and just plugged it up. And it says, press the bubbles button for it to blow up. And it ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why it's not, it's so hard. Like I can't even press it. All right, let me do some more research on this whole thing. I actually held down the power button this time and it beeped one time and this light turned green. So all I did was hold it down and say beep and it turned green. So let me try to press the bubbles button again. Oh. I don't know if it's inflating or not. <laughs> it's really loud. Okay, I think something, is it inflating? Oh no, it came off. Oh shoot. <laughs> no wonder. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Bubbles. So you don't need the hand pencil thing. I don't know what the hand pencil thing is. I think I'm pretty. Yep, that's coming up. I think we're moving. Yay! I just had to reset it. Okay, it's opening up. It's opening up. See how thin the walls are? But that's good. Okay, I'm gonna hop in this thing and pull this side up. Oh, it's bigger than what I thought. sticks out further than what I thought, but it's cool. I think it's done. I doubt that, yes, we blew up the spa to where it's standing, but in order to finish it, you have to connect this tube that came in a plastic bag, the one with this end and this end. It goes in here, the pump that looks like a little bicycle hand pump thing. So you have to finish the spa up by blowing it up with the hand pump. So you can't fully blow it up with the bubbles. Or well, the air bubbles. how the instructions look. They're pretty much pictures, but this gives you step by step to unfold it, hook it up, plug it up. And then I'm on this step right here to figure out which pump should the, I mean, which hose goes in the hand pump. 
which go which hose goes in the hand pump. So here's where you turn on the bl bubbles, keep it on for five minutes, and then you hand pump for five yeah, minutes. So I think it's supposed to be some kind of gauge on this, but never mind. Okay, so there is going to be a piece that looks like this in the bag with this thing here. So this piece has to go on the end of this and here, and then this hose connects to the bicycle pump. So yeah, this piece, I was like, this doesn't go straight to the pool. So what is, what am I missing? This hose right here goes in. So I, let me put, attach this to the hose and then I will hand pump it the rest oh, of the way. piece on the hand pump. And of course this goes in here, just like the one that does the air bubbles. You're gonna hear some air come out for a second. You know it works and then you hand pump for five minutes and I'm not sure if it'll get rid of like the creases that's in there but this is what it's looking like and I'm going to hand pump this for about five minutes I finished pumping it and it's really really sturdy now like I can sit on this okay thing. so I finished hand pumping it and I can sit on the edge of this thing and it is not bending at all very sturdy so to give you an idea how big this thing is so i'm five foot nine and <laughs> so it feels pretty deep though like i can't imagine a water like right here up to my neck <laughs> so here is the maximum level so here's the max and here's my neck so the bubbles will be like right here <laughs> so it's pretty deep um, but this is to show you how big this okay, is. Okay, so I'm 5'9", and my feet are nowhere near the edge of this. And here's my feet stretched out, and I still have a foot, maybe a foot and a half, something. But this thing is big, okay? It's way bigger than what I thought, and I have plenty of space to stretch out. So I'm laying flat on the floor, you guys, and I'm 5'9". That gives you, I hope that gives you like an insight on how big it is. I do see this fitting five adults. I do, because it's, it's bigger than what I thought, which is great. So I'm gonna take the air pump out and seal it up and see what my next step These is. little bendy marks should still be in here. I don't have the gauge like the girl did on the video. I'm gonna look over here again to make sure. Cause here's, here's where the, it's supposed to be, but I don't see a gauge anywhere. Like a pressure gauge to see the pressure level and to see if it's right or not. Because I do have quite a bit of wrinkles as you can see on the sides. So I don't know, but it looks good to me. I mean, I tried to kind of pull them out, but I don't know, maybe it's just from shipping. But okay, so I pulled the hose out and I closed this. So the next thing that the girl did was to assemble the actual cover that goes on my this. house because I was losing space outside. Sorry if it's a little dark, let me turn the light on. Okay, so the lady opened this up, and I'm referring to the lady on the video, <laughs> the YouTube video. So she opened it all the way up. And like it's these little things that look like, you know, fitted sheets. <laughs> so she opened it up, and then she opened this up and tucked it inside of this area here. So I'll come back to show you how that looks. So here it is with the white thing face up so you want to have the pump and the words and the number two facing up and it's all tucked in the lining and i think the next thing that i need to do is pump it up with the pump so 
let me get that and make sure that's what i'm supposed okay, to do so to blow the insulated cover up it does have to come outside and it does attach to this so the same hose that you plugged in to blow up the pool you have to use this nozzle now so this one that looks like this so you have to put this one there and then put it in here in here and then we're going to turn the bubbles back on and this is going to blow it up so it's on it's green change the fahrenheit well, there's no point wait i think you gotta hold it down Up and see that is how it looks that's how the insulated cover is it's not built in it's just a inflatable part that tucks in this lid part so i'm going to move this to the side for the time being just let that lean against the wall but yeah that is how you do the pool cover Super so we unscrew this now now that it's inflated uh oh that's not supposed to come off like that <laughs> So to unscrew this part. Okay, wait. So now we're supposed to put the whole thing up against the pool now. So after everything is inflated, line it up. With the actual pool. So there's no hoses, it goes directly into the pool and this will align itself. So that goes there, that goes there. And that goes there. So I will get everything screwed in and come back. But I don't know where this goes. So line it up. You, you've already lined line this one up? Not really. Okay, yeah, there you go. And then it's just that one. So it connects directly to the thing. There's no hoses. It's the what, what, one. What, 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 what water going in there? What you mean? The water you just filled the you just filled this up with so water. What is this right here? Let me see. Oh, that goes here. This goes this goes there. So what is that for? I have no idea. <laughs> so that is so getting screwed into yeah. Take it everywhere. I know. Shoot. They say it's portable, but uh it's gonna be portable, all right. <laughs> portable in the same spot. It gets screwed into there. Pretty self-explanatory, this whole thing. Alright, so that reaches around that side. So I'll, the instructions I'll, I'll say It says unscrew hey, these. Where, where, where these? <clears throat> oh, this thing that floats on the top, ain't it? Is it? Mm -hmm. So give me the thing. So it says take all three of these off, but one of them you're supposed to keep open. And I think the filters go on the two gray things. Is that right? Give me the <laughs> give me the pictures. <laughs> oh, what was that? So you got one at the bottom of this part, and then you got the other filter right here. So that's how it looks. That because I was kind of confused. So this needed to go back in here. This is just a cover. So you take the cover off. You don't unscrew the whole thing. You take the cover off, and that stays like that. So one, then this one. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think it goes here. Because it's, it's... Chem Connect. So it's probably chemical. Let me 
open it up. Oh, shoot. So the hot water is actually coming out of there. When I turn the heat on, when I press the heat button, so I have to hold it down to unlock it. And then when I hit the heat button, the the what this came on. So I think the hot water comes through here. It's heated and then comes through. So I think that's what happens. And I don't know, this light kind of came on, but this is how you turn the temperature up. So you have to hold this down for three seconds to unlock it. Unlock, and then this is bubbles. On, bubbles off, heat, and then heat temperature up max 104 bring it down i'll just do it 100 and then see if i turn the heat off i thought turning the heat off would turn that off but i guess it doesn't turn the heat up to 101 100 and then i hold this down to lock it and yeah that's it <laughs> that is not a bouncy house <laughs> it was fully um, filled. It took about two and a half hours, almost three hours to fill it. Uh, but it's currently on the heating stage. It's up to 70 degrees. I think it was 61 to start or 63 to start. But of course, the bubbles is going to make the temperature go down. But it's fully filled. Like I said, it took about two and a half hours. So here it is. Hey, I wanted to give you guys an update. We are just now at 90 degrees. So if you can see that, 90 degrees. Now, granted, I'm in Florida, but the temperatures have dipped down in, say, the 40s to 30s at night so this has been running for about almost 24 well about 20 hours now and it took 20 hours to get to 90 degrees and I think because it is cold outside um, but we went ahead and got a chlorine floater uh, excuse me some chlor uh, a three inch chlorine tablet just one three inch chlorine tablet and a floater smells like bleach but yeah um it's definitely warmer than it was yesterday like i said it's up to 90 degrees now but it took about 20 hours to get to 90 degrees um but it's definitely warm but just wanted to show you guys and give you guys an update on how long it took me to heat it um since yesterday so it took about yeah i think we're at the 17 hour mark, no 20 hour mark um but this is how it's looking now and i will let you all know um when we reach the full 104 degrees okay guys so it's been two days since we put it up um so it took about 24 hours i think for it to get up to like 90 something and this is the morning of the third day and it's like i think it's like eight o'clock in the morning and it's just now getting to 102 so it's just now 102 degrees we got it in yesterday when it was about 92 degrees um we got it last night when it was about 92 degrees so this is going to be my final update i'm going to hop in to show you guys um you know what it looks like i'm gonna open it up but it felt really good even at 90 something to degrees it may have been too cool for some people but it actually felt pretty good all right Hold you guys on. so here it is i just flipped the top up i'm gonna turn the bubbles on and see how warm this thing is so you hold down unlock and then you hit bubbles <laughs> Space for five people 
it's really, really, it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Very sturdy. Very sturdy. And we have it up to the max level. We got in it last night and we put too much water in it, so the water kind of splashed out last night because it was all three of us in here and it was kind of overflowing. So since that water is out, it's down to the normal level. And the wrinkles did come out. The wrinkles that were in there did come out because I think of the water being in here. But it's really, really spacious, you guys. I love it. I can't believe I have a hot tub on my porch, <laughs> on my patio best investment ever definitely recommend it so i hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and yeah just hope you like it i hope this helps your decision in buying one of these hill stinky spots all right thanks for watching bye